Hi friends. Welcome to a new learning video on Pharma Guideline. Today we will understand the fishbone diagram and its usages in pharmaceuticals. In the pharmaceutical industry, maintaining high standards of quality, safety, and compliance is very important. When issues or problems arise, it becomes crucial to identify and address their root causes effectively. Root cause analysis is a structured approach used to investigate problems and uncover the underlying causes to prevent their recurrence. One widely used tool for root cause analysis is the fishbone diagram, also known as the Ishikawa diagram or cause and effect diagram. The fishbone diagram is a visual representation that helps identify and categorize potential causes contributing to a problem. The diagram resembles a fish skeleton, where the problem is placed at the head of the fish, and the main causal categories are represented as the fish's bones or branches. These branches typically include categories such as people, process, equipment, materials, environment, and management. Subsequently, more detailed causes and sub-causes are added to each branch, forming a comprehensive analysis. The fishbone diagram tool can be highly effective in addressing complex issues within pharmaceutical manufacturing, quality control, and compliance. Let's consider an example. Suppose the problem is an increase in defective tablets during the manufacturing process. Step 1. Define the problem. Place the problem statement at the head of the fishbone diagram, representing the defective tablets issue. Step 2. Identify the main categories. Draw the main branches, such as people, process, equipment, materials, environment, and management. Step 3. Analyze potential causes. Under each branch, brainstorm and add potential causes relevant to the problem. Examples for potential causes of each branch. People branch may have potential causes. Insufficient training, lack of adherence to standard operating procedures. Process branch may have potential causes. Inadequate validation procedures, improper equipment calibration. Equipment branch may have potential causes. Malfunctioning machines, inadequate maintenance. Materials branch may have potential causes. Poor quality raw materials, incorrect storage conditions. Environment branch may have potential causes. Inadequate temperature and humidity control. And management branch may have potential causes. Ineffective supervision, inadequate quality control measures. Step 4. Drill down to sub-causes. Further investigate and add sub-causes under each main cause to explore the root cause more comprehensively. For example, under the process branch, sub-causes may include lack of process documentation, improper cleaning procedures, or inadequate process monitoring as shown in the diagram with red color. Drill down all branches similarly. Step 5. Analyze and address root causes. Analyze the potential causes and identify the root causes that contribute most significantly to the problem. Once the root cause is determined, appropriate corrective actions can be planned and implemented. For example, if inadequate training is identified as a root cause, comprehensive training programs can be developed to address the issue. The fishbone diagram enables a systematic and visual approach to identify and analyze the potential causes of a problem. It helps teams focus their efforts on addressing the root causes, leading to more effective problem solving and continuous improvement. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.